Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 20. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Alright, so we are back in Tourist Trophy. We're going to be doing the T-Max Cup today. And we have to take this Yamaha T-Max Racing Modify. This is from 2005. Very nice bike. Look at it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like super nice. But it's a pretty cool bike. Um, so we're going to pick this one. And I want to see uh, what is... Because obviously you've got settings for tuning bikes. Um... So yeah, you've got all these. Oh, so you can change the tire compound if you want to. So you can go for soft. Ooh. I mean, we've been riding with mediums for this entire time, so I feel like just taking that would be the understandable option. So yeah, we'll stick with that. Obviously, you can change like, your gear ratios and shit like that as well. And I'm guessing riding form is just like your how you ride, see, and um, that sort of like the steering and shit like that. I would presume that's what that means. But uh, here we go, race events. We're going for number seven today. And if I can find it, here we go, the T Max Cup Yamaha Championship race. Let's go. So we're starting in New York. Let me move into April Kyle Raceway and then Tokyo R246. And this is a championship. So let's do that. Right, so we are here with the Yamaha T Maxes. We can do qualifying. Uh, this is like the practice session and all that from the last games. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to start the race straight up like this. We'll try and catch up in a natural way, a very slow, natural way. This is going to be horrendously long, I have just realised. Oh. Yeah, soft tyres probably wouldn't have been a good idea, so kind of glad I didn't pick them. Right, we've got our first overtake. We are now in third position. We are on target. Overtaking one person per lap is enough. But uh, getting any extra is a bonus. The fact is, it's also difficult to learn braking lines with these. Because these mopeds, they take corners at really odd speeds. So, it's very hard to learn your braking points with these. And also, you don't have like a reference indicator as well with sort of your gear shift thing, because there are no gears. Right, in second place. That was a good little jump there as well, though. Right here, right now, right here, right now, yeah. It's awesome though, 1.2 seconds behind now. Come on, speed. I want more speed. Awesome. Oh, that was very close to my head there. Unbelievable. We are... Two minutes. Where is the finish line? So for that lap, we got a two minutes five. So it's going to take us about six minutes to finish this race. And probably every other race. So this video is going to be about 22 minutes. So I think I'm only going to be able to fit in one championship for this video. Because uh, obviously these ones are shorter. There's six o'clock series. It's, yeah. Slightly different lengths. Awesome though. I love the, f the look of this map, right? But also because it's a street course, technically it is just made out of New York. 
This is actually how New York looks like, right? And the fact is, you can do that comparison with the New York track in um, Forza. So instead of it taking this corner here, um, the New York track in Forza will go straight on from that corner and just meet all the way up at the top area. So the entire lap would be just two straights and a hairpin corner. But it would have the exact same shape on that track. Um, go take a look, because honestly, I think it, um, New York's been in Forza. Oh, shit. New York has been in Forza since the start, so. There have been multiple variations. So, yeah, you would end up coming out just about there and you can obviously see the borders and the barriers where the track actually comes out for the Forza version but it's cool to see and uh, especially London in uh, Gran Turismo 5 and 6 when they added that as a city track why they remove these ones and then just put in London I would never know I'd rather have these than London I'd rather have like Seattle and New York those circuits but um, the London track was very nice. It looked amazing. But again, we need all these tracks back. All of the city tracks, every single track needs to come back to Gran Turismo 7. And if they can't do that, they're going to have to do a Gran Turismo 4 remastered. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Awesome. Coming up to the final section of this lap. We are miles ahead, surprisingly, even though we are in the exact same vehicle using the exact same tools. So I was expecting more of a challenge, but... Um, I'm guessing this was aimed at, like, the Gran Turismo fan, so I presume it would have to be a little bit easier. Because, like, cars and bikes are different things. They really do need to make another tourist trophy. Because this is so much fun, it's so different. We want another one. Oh, I want another one. I don't know about other people, to be honest. Awesome. Coming up to the finish line for the end of the first race. Very nice. That's different music. Six minutes 15. Very decent. <coughs> very good. Yamaha T Max Racing Modify. Awesome. Now I got to save that replay for thumbnails. Right, so here we are at the second race. This is going to be around the Apricot Hill Raceway. An amazing original track by Gran Turismo. One of my favorite tracks. Just because of one, the S Benz. But two is just perfect. There's no other way of describing it. But it is amazing. And we are here for three laps. In what it can only be described as the slowest racing bike in this game. It's like a afternoon cruise. But we've got closed borders and race marshals everywhere. That was awesome, though, that overtake. Eighty two miles an hour around that corner. That is crazy. 
Obviously, this track looked amazing in Gran Turismo 6. There was a lot of sort of like texture upgrades and everything. And it was just so much fun to go around. I don't think it's in Gran Turismo 5 though. I think they removed it in Gran Turismo 5 and then brought it back in 6 because people wanted it. If this game isn't in Gran Turismo 7 though, I will cry. If this track isn't in Gran Turismo 7. I bet you Gran Turismo 7 is probably out by this by the time this comes out. We haven't even got a, a time of recording. We haven't got a release date for the PS5. Or the Series X. It's getting close to one year since the Series X was announced. One year. And we still don't know what is going on with it. We still don't have a clue at all. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish this off. We've still got one more lap to go after this. That is one bonus, I would say. If I took that corner like that with the uh, Suzuki, I would have fallen over easily. So uh, these mopeds are sort of a lot more stable. Come on, come on. Oh, when you go off road, though, yeah, you lose the stability easily. Come on. Break here, that was way too early. No, that was the worst breaking point we've had yet. Awesome. Yeah, we would have fallen off easily if that was a Suzuki then. No chance getting around that corner like that. Awesome though. And here we go, across the line, 141.6 at the finish. And five minutes and eight seconds total time. Very good. And there we go. 20 points so far in the point matchings. Point rankings. Awesome. Next track. Right, we are now here at Tokyo Route 246. This is uh, one of my favourite tracks in this game for bikes. The flow that these bikes have around the corners, especially at that upper section, is perfect. Cars just can't do it. 
which is interesting because this track was designed most of these original tracks were designed with cars in mind but look at this bikes flow easily corner to corner I think I also saw the Nurburgring was in this game, like the entire track. It would be interesting to take a couple of bikes just down that. At some point during these races, it would be nice. If there was like one lap around the Nurburgring or something like that. That would be sick. Because I can guarantee you there's going to be like 10 minute races at some point. It would be decent to go through that. Bum, bum, bum. I'm guessing we need to slow down just a tiny bit to get around here. There we go, nice. Obviously, one bike per lap is all we need to overtake. Oh. A car would not be able to take that corner that quick flowing through there. Not a chance in hell. Awesome. Firestone. Du, 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 du. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. On to the main straight now. Where we can hopefully catch up and get an overtake. Are we going to get one? Or are we going to get cock blocks? Yes, we've got it. We've got the overtake. Very nice. 2 minutes 12.315 for that lap time. Six seconds behind. Groovy. That was rubbish. I used a braking point I would use with cars. The curb. Start of the curb is normally a common braking point on this track. But uh, as you can see, that doesn't translate well into bikes. Because uh, there's only two wheels slowing you down, not four. I am big stupid. I am stupid. Charles Lechere. Formula One meme. Awesome. Oh no. I hit my head. Oh, I've lost so much time there that I gained. Okay, we're gonna have to try and regain it fairly quickly now. No, I didn't touch. I didn't touch. That is ridiculous. What the fuck? This is why I don't like street circuits with this. Ah! Right, we're gonna get a second place. First place is out of the bag now. There's no chance of getting that at all. Ah, oh, I'm gutted about that. It means I'm going to have to redo the entire race as well. Ah, oh, fucking hell. There is no way I can gain eight seconds. Not against these guys. They're slow, but not that slow. It's going to be a push if we can get it. 7.6. That's one second. But that would be like three seconds by the start line. 
This next checkpoint needs to be like five seconds off. I see us catching up. Okay, we may be in with a chance, but only just. Oh my gosh, that's insane. 1.6, no way are we doing this right now. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, are we actually going to get that back? Contact. Ooh. The bike behind reset. They fell off. Unbelievable. First place. And we have such a lead now. Look at that. The number 69 has done us well. I'm impressed by that. We're going to get a massive time boost as well. 2 minutes 8.4. Wow. 6 minutes 45 overall. That. That there. That was impressive. We got 30 points. Maximum points. Very good. Now I'm going to save the replay. Get that thumbnail. And here we go. New riding gear, awesome. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Helmets. US Intercolor. What is that? Oh, okay. Interested. And for winning, gold on everything and getting first, we get a racing modified Yamaha. And I forgot to check actually what CC this bike was, so probably can't use it. We'll probably won't get to use it if it's too low. It doesn't even say. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, you've obtained a special racing number. You may ch now change the number of the bike to a special number. Do you want to change the number from 69 to 1? This number is not available in the garage. Also, when you win, you can set your bike's number to be 1. That is sick. I'm actually doing that as well. I don't care if I'm losing the number 69. If I can get a number one on my bike and prove that I'm a winner, I'm going to do it. And there we go. We got a number one. Oh, that is sick. That is epic. And that is the T-Max Cup completely done. Nice. Event number seven completed. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.